Hey, Dr. Bob Flower, Monday, uh, October 31st. Happy Halloween. And no, this isn't a mask. This is this is me, unfortunately. Okay, uh, let's talk about last um, last Thursday's uh, call. Um, 400 points. Uh, you know, the master pattern cannot be denied. Now, please note that when we first made the call two and a half weeks prior, uh, to the to the 27th, we had no idea about this uh, European uh, meeting that was going on. Then the meeting was supposed to be uh, Sunday the 23rd. It didn't happen. Then it was supposed to be Wednesday the 26th, and it didn't happen. At that point, I knew it was going to happen the 27th. Uh, it was it was so obvious to me uh, what was happening with the master pattern. But it made no discernment between uh, the, the the European uh, issue and whatever. It just showed uh, a, a huge move, as, as we had indicated, and, and it was an up move because of the uh, because of the configuration of the uh, master pattern uh, charts. Um, okay, so now um, what are we looking at? Well, uh, as as we've had been saying right since two thousand and seven. Uh, there's uh, virtually uh, fighting in the streets. If you look at um, this Occupy Wall Street uh, uh, group in uh, Oakland and Denver, and I, I think it's in Atlanta, um, this is getting ugly. And this will get a, a lot worse before it gets better, especially if, um, especially with this weather turning uh, in the Northeast. Um, this is, this is going to be uh, really ugly, as is the market. I have three charts to uh, to show you and, and quickly discuss with you for uh, next uh, for the next two weeks. Uh, the first one is concerning the Dow Jones. Uh, Janet, try and get as, as good a shot of a close up of this as you can. Of course, these charts are up on the website, so you can get a much better look at them, and and uh, they are expanded. But here we have um, three uh, three configurations. Uh, two of them on November 8th, one of them on November 9th, and this is for the Dow Jones, okay? You can catch that uh, on our website, www.masterpattern.net. Uh, the second one is the uh, S&P. The S&P has also three configurations, and this, this is power when you see three of these things. Uh, coming together, three cycles, uh, three patterns coming together at the same time. And this one is November, uh, there's, uh, excuse me, two on November 4th, which is Friday, and one on November 3rd, okay? So it looks like we're, we're, we're starting a, um, a, a major move, which I believe is going to uh, uh, culminate on the November 8th or November 9th. We're, we're calling for the 8th. Uh, so um, uh, catch this on the on the website again. The third is silver. And uh, silver, ironically, is also showing. Once again, you see, you see the, three, um, the three patterns here. Uh, two on the 8th and one on the 10th. And there's another one in there uh, that you can't see, uh, which is on the... Uh, Which is on the ninth. Um, so uh, we're we're looking at some uh, pretty heady action coming up here. Um, silver um, it, today was uh, one of silver's days, and and uh, the second November second uh, this week, uh, which I believe is Wednesday. Uh, you'll see some some silver moves, but uh, this this one will be um, um, more significant. Uh, it is um, uh, declining. Um, today, I believe it was up there pretty good, up above thirty-five dollars. I believe it's down around thirty-three dollars today, and I think you're going to see it uh, drop some more. What's going to happen to it uh, this Friday? Can't be sure, but this pattern does not look good to me. It looks uh, looks kind of top-heavy, and uh, still not still not able to muster enough power to uh, to break it out. However, the one on uh, the the eighth and the ninth. I think that you're looking at something that um, that may well uh, develop into a very powerful um, uh, up move. But I, 
uh, I'll give you more on that uh, on Monday. I'm not I'm not ready to say uh, for certain that it's going to make that uh, what, what direction the move is going to come. So all I can tell you is it's going to come. All right. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about this uh, Europe and and uh, the United States and, and what's going on here uh, as things are falling apart and the government is they're they're building it up. You know, they're trying to rev it up so that uh, uh, the uh, uh, people in power are going to remain in power, uh, but um, that is not going to happen. It, the the, the uh, Miss Patton is saying that there's going to be a dramatic change over the next uh, 12 to 15 months, and um, uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of uh, weep, weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh, the, uh, the problem that we're having is... And we may well see it coming up uh, around the twenty, this twenty-third date with this, uh, this uh, super committee, um, is that uh, they're that they don't have the guts uh, to make the hard decisions. Uh, they know it, w it would probably be the end of uh, of of their their power and control, and and they're not willing uh, to do that. So they may find a way, even even if this super committee comes out with something. Uh, it, it, chances are it's it's it's, it's not going to be passed. Uh, that, that somehow Congress is going to change it or water it down. It'll end up being nothing, and we'll be back right back where we started from. Only worse because we won't be able to kick the can any further down the road. Right? Uh, th that's what this uh, Occupy Wall Street is all about. That's what the Tea Party is all about. Um, and I think the only the only problem here is that. I think Occupy Wall Street, while I tend to agree with them that you've got too many babies down on Wall Street who want to see everything for their benefit and they want all their toys and uh, all their little pennies and they don't care what happens to, uh, to others. Um, I totally agree with that, um, but, I, I, but I think that there are other ways of, of handling these, these, uh, uh, these yuppie uh, creeps. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to hurt other people to get to them, right? And I think they should be marching on Washington and on their state capitals rather than on uh, than on Wall Street uh, and complaining about Wall Street and the uh, the governments uh, who are running it. Okay, so um, uh, if if you're looking to um, to buy some silver, I think you're going to get a, ch a chance uh, within the next uh, couple of weeks here. I think uh, I think there, there's going to be uh, some opportunity, some some place in here. It may be on the eighth, but uh, my sense is that the eighth is going not is not going to be a good uh, a good time. The eighth or the ninth, right in there. So um, it, it all depends on which way um, which way uh, uh, silver goes at at that particular time. Is it going to go with the economy, uh, with the Dow, or is it going to go against it? And that's going to depend on on the dollar, and uh, and and Europe. Uh, the dollar is weakening. That's a good sign for silver and gold. If the dollar gets stronger again here, um, be, because of Europe or any other reason, uh, then we're going to see uh, then we're going to see a weakness in silver. Um, uh, I still think we're going to see a, more of a downplay in silver for the ne next three or four days. Um, and then, um, and then it's going to be all hell uh, breaking loose. Um, we'll we'll give you an update on the silver on Monday, and see how it uh, how it runs. In the meantime, you got to keep talking to these elected officials and tell them to get their get their cojones up and do the right thing. Uh, people are are, are desperate. Uh, people need help. Uh, and um, the only thing that's going to free us now is uh, is the truth. Um, let's not get caught up in in our belief systems unless they're scientifically definable. Okay, uh, keep your powder dry, keep your feet in your hat warm, and stay out of the snow. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>